Hannah, we'll start with you. Nice bogey free five under par. Mm -hmm. Final round to end the 2020 season. How did that feel? Yeah, really nice. Um, it's funny. I actually felt like I left a lot out there too. Um, had a couple of putts that could have dropped, but then again, you know, I hold some really good putts too. So yeah, super stoked to have a great round on my birthday. Yeah, extra special on your yeah. birthday. I'm sure you get a couple of people congratulating you out there. Yeah, I had a lot of people saying um, happy birthday, especially uh, Golf Channel. Um, <laughs> I don't even know a lot of those people that uh, work for that company, but um, to have players and staff recognize it was really nice. Well, you wrote this question for me, but your entire group between you, Mina, and uh, Lydia Ko finished bogey free. Yeah. Three rounds between the, all it's of you on, on yeah. uh, with no bogeys. How, yeah. did, how uh, amazing was that? We actually didn't realize until we were um, saying the scores afterward. And um, I knew I was, well, I actually didn't know that I was bogey free. Um, but then I didn't realize Lydia and Mina weren't um, either. So, yeah, it was just crazy. Um, it's pretty easy to get in some trouble here. And towards the end, you know, we were letting some shots almost go past. So, um, yeah, just great for all of us to finish so strong on Sunday. Could you sense a little bit uh, something special in the group out there with uh, you guys' this play today? Yeah, I think we all definitely fed off each other. Um, Lydia hold a couple of long putts early on in a round, and Mina kind of did the same, and then I finally hold some putts too. So we're all, you know, hitting it really good off the tee and giving ourselves a, a lot of opportunities. And, um, yeah, it really makes a difference when you are playing with people that are playing well. Well, about five weeks uh, until the next event. Yes. <laughs> a shortened off season, but then a, kind of another longer break mm -hmm. after that. Uh, what are your off-season plans uh, until the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions? Unfortunately, I'm not playing uh, Tournament okay. of Champions. Um, I've decided to stay in Australia um, because I haven't been there since August. I felt like um, pretty much two weeks wasn't going to be enough time at home. So I will be returning for Kia Classic in March. So I'm super excited to get back. Um, I'm leaving on Tuesday, arriving nice. to Australia on Thursday. So I'll be there for a little under three months. Nice. So. Congratulations. Yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> yes. I'm sure you miss, uh, miss family and just miss being back home. Yeah, it's um, especially you know, being my birthday and you know, holiday season, it's, it's going to be different having to do FaceTime for Christmas and everything, but um, I'm definitely counting down when I want to <laughs> go home. So. Absolutely. <laughs> What's shaping up to be your probably highest finish this season? Mm -hmm. How are you kind of feeling? What are your thoughts, takeaways from 2020 and going into 2021? Yeah, I felt like I did some good work um, through quarantine with my coach, you know, gained some distance. So that really was nice to come out and actually see it on a tournament. And I wish there was an event next week because I finally feel like oh, everything's coming together. But then again, I also do want to go back to Australia. But no, it's, yeah, this is my best finish I've had all year. Um, first time broken the top 10. So I'm super excited. Um, it's nice to finish on a high and be able to go home and eventually celebrate. <laughs> what are you going to be taking into 2021? What have you learned about yourself this season? Um, I've been a lot more consistent this year. I think I missed every, uh, just one cut, so I'm slowly getting a little bit more consistent with my game, and I think my short game certainly improved. So it's it's nice to see you know things are slowly improving. I mean, <laughs> improvement's better than none. So um, yeah, I'm super excited for next year. It's going to be a really packed schedule, but um, yeah, looking forward to it. Awesome. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Last one I have for you. Just in the crazy year it has been, and uh, the, you know the ups and downs that. As a tour, we've seen with, between the schedule and the break, the length and breaks and yeah. uh, travel restrictions. Uh, is there anything you learned about um, maybe your schedule and how it sets up that you might implement yeah. starting in 2021? Yeah, next year is going to be difficult. Um, you know, starting in March, I mean, the season goes all the way till November. And, you know, I really quite struggled towards the end here with being away from home for four and a half months. So. Um, I think I'm going to have to sacrifice some of the big events next year and try and go home for you know, four or five week period. Um, I don't see Australia not doing a two week hotel quarantine, so I'm going to have to allow for that and give myself at least three weeks out of a hotel to get ready. So it's going to be unfortunate, but I think if I do it well, um, I can peak for the right events and hopefully, yeah, can get some more wins and get some more runner ups. Thanks, Hannah. Thank you.